today, Foster, um, Anna, aka Maranalek, <coughs> back with part two of our July 11 stitching update. If you didn't <coughs> watch part one, welcome. Um, welcome back to anybody who's returning. I always love to see um, people revisit. Uh, welcome to anybody who's new. Hope you enjoy getting a look at all the things I've finished in the last six months. Um, so the, the content for this video is primarily the recap of June, um, but more importantly, the recap of the first six months, the finishes that I've accomplished. So very, <coughs> very quickly, I'll just run through this stitching recap for June. Um, and I will insert photos of the various projects because I've already put them away. Um, or they will be in the finish. So June, I pulled out um, the new project from Deep Stash. That's my daughter's dimension stockings um, called Roof, Rooftop Santa. That only got a single day. It's done with all the kit materials, the Ada. Um, so you will see a lot more of that one coming up. But in June, it only got a um, single day. Uh, the second project I work in, on in June was the Fantasy Triptych, and that was a push to the finish. So it had six days to get that finished. I, from memory, only like one day of that was beading. A very small amount of beading, but a lot of backstitch. Um, all six of those days were probably backstitch. Um, Aura of Autumn which if you watch first video, that's my default. I can't think about anything else project. That got 19 days. So a lot of days where I couldn't think too hard. Um, Celtic Summer got five days and Pearl of the Orient Seas by Bella Filipina Designs got eight days. Sorry, it's right in front of me and I can't keep my um, brain straight. So, not bad. Stitched every single day in June. In fact, I think I've stitched every single day uh, in, you know, since the start of the year. Yesterday was a bit dodgy. I think my stitching amounted to six, literally six stitches. Um, but it is what it is. All right. So back in early January, I was debating, you know, what goals should I set for the year as far as my stitching accomplishments um what i wanted to accomplish and as i said um if you watch the last video my goals are not very usually very hard and fast goals they tend to be just more what pops into my head and so when it came time to uh, kind of review this in july 1 I honestly couldn't even remember what I'd written down. So I went digging around and I think this was my goals list. So I remember writing something. So you see, I put finish next to a couple of things. Clearly that's what I was hoping for. Um, so my list consisted of Indian peacocks. I wanted to finish that. Japanese moss garden. I wanted to finish that. Pearl of the Orient. Seeds. I wanted to finish that. Um, my list also had on it Aura of Autumn and Fantasy Triptych, neither of which were marked as a finish. I just wanted to see project progress on them. So we shall see how well I did. If you can remember, hold on, I got to find the notes with the dates on them. If you can remember all the way back to January, You might remember I finished the Indian Peacock. So this was a dimensions kit uh, done with mostly the kit threads, um, but it's done on, uh, I'm going to assume 32 count. Uh, it's a color cascades and it's sweet cherry pie. The only substitution I made in this was in the tail rather 
rather than the yellow floss they supplied in the kit, I went and put metallic in there. Um, so I, that looks like treasure braid. So that was finish number one um, on January 14th. So from memory, that was really close to a finish. On, it wasn't very ambitious to say I wanted to finish it this year. I kind of knew that was a given. So then on February 28th, we had this project for my nephew. This was meant to be already back over in Perth, but COVID has not helped. So this pattern was called With Love, uh, with love to the Sea um, for uh, from Cute Patterns by Marina. Um, so we will take this back to Perth whenever we get there or, whoops, maybe they will be able to come see us before we get a chance to get there. Um, so that's for my little nephew I have yet to even meet. The plan had been to go over the first school holidays after he was born, but that was right about Easter time when everything was rapidly closing down. Um, so that February, sorry, that finish was February 28th. And if you remember, I'll just grab the bit that removes. This is the one we had a drama with a Kelpie. So there was a bit of running. These are all silks for you and stinky dyes. Actually, there's a, the conversion I used to stitch this is listed on my blog. So I will put a link to it so you can see which stinky dyes and stuff I used. But when I had to wash it because Kelpie got paw prints on it, some of these reds did run as one would expect and there's still some minor staining from Kelpie paws. We are not very amused Mr. Kelpie. Um, so that one needs to go to its new home hopefully soon. Um, so the third finish I had was for this was meant to be for a stitching retreat that was going to happen at the end of May. And so the idea was we all stitch it and then we finish it at the retreat. Um, as per everything else, <coughs> COVID happened. So it's still sitting here unfinished um, and it will sit <coughs> in its bag unfinished until hopefully I get to the retreat May next year. Um, so this was Heartstrings Samplery. Don't know the name of the pattern. Something pincushion, queen bee pincushion, something like that. Um, again, <coughs> this is one of those, I just swapped out stinky dyes and silks for you that I had. Um, rather than use the called for it. So I will link below um, to the <coughs> page where I documented that conversion if you like those colors. Um, that was March 12th. So, so far we have Indian Peacock in January with Love to the Sea in February and Queen Bee Pigeon Cushion in March. So that was one finish a month. We skipped April. I had no finishes. I came very, very close. But it was May 1st before I finish this piece. The Chatelaine uh, Japanese Moss Garden. This, every time I look at it, it's so amazing. <laughs> and it's so massive, guys. Um, I won't do the full on details. If you look back at the video, I did some up close where you can see the beads and the detailed stitching. Maybe I'll link that video so that you can go back and look at it because really doing this doesn't do it much justice at all. Um, but that was a massive finish. I would have 
let's go digging to know exactly when I started that. It's definitely more than a year, um, probably 18 months. Obviously working on plenty of other things in the meantime, but 18 months of elapsed time from start to finish on that one. So that was a massive finish. Um, for those of you who are keeping track with the original goal list, the Indian Peacock that I said I wanted to finish is finished. The Japanese Moss Garden that I said I wanted to finish is finished. Uh, I lost my list. They're on two different pages. Yep. So that leaves Pearl of the Orient was the other thing I said I wanted to finish this year, and I, at this point, have not finished it. So that's two out of three, out of the three in the first six months. And I think I'm well lined up to finish Pearl of the Orient this, in the next coming six months as well. Um, the other one on my list that I said I wanted to see progress, but wasn't committing to a finish, was my most recent finish on June 7th, the fantasy triptych, which is too big for the boards. So this is Theresa Wensler, um, Fantasy Triptych, mm, started this at some point um, before I was married ages ago, 20 years we're calling it in progress, um, but finally finished this year. We've got beads and specialty stitches through the frame, acres of back stitching as is typical for a Teresa Wensler. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm super pleased, even though my goal was not to finish that one, I am super pleased to see it done. Um, the other one, I didn't bring it, the other one I said I wanted to see progress on, um, but wasn't marked as a commit was Aura of Autumn. And by my count, I've finished seven pages so far in Aura of Autumn in the first six months. Um, yeah, so I, two of the three I marked as wanting to finish are done. One, two, three, four, five, five pieces totally finished and seven pages on the full coverage. I reckon that's not too bad for, um, for the first six months of the year. So for July to December, I've decided I'm going to try and get a little bit more ambitious. Um, first goal set was three for the entire um, year, which I'm fairly comfortable I've well exceeded already. So this time we're going to pick another three finishes um, for the just the next six months. Words. Clearly um, a struggle. So the first one, the only one that I haven't actually finished yet from the first set of goals, was a Pearl of the Orient Seeds. She is stitched on another color cascade fabric, 32 count Belfast called Dark Fantasy. Um, so she is very, very close to having her stitching done. I'm hoping, expect a week's a bit ambitious, but I think another two weeks <coughs> should finish her stitching and then just beading. So that should be well achievable before the end of the year. <coughs> Easy done, right? Acres of time for all of it. Or um, bottom, which again I do not have. Uh, I am aiming to finish six more pages on that one, which should take me basically it should complete the row that I'm on and just about complete another row, I think. Or at least half of the next row. So that should be some good progress. Um, 
the other one I want to finish this year. And this one actually has a November, mid-November deadline because I have committed in public to my daughter that this stocking will be done, the stitching on it will be done before she graduates. I'm pretty sure that her graduation ceremony is scheduled for mid-November. Um, as far as I'm aware, Queensland has said that formals and stuff are going ahead. So I have to assume that I need it done by mid-November and I'm not going to get a COVID reprieve on that. Um, this is, sorry, this is a dimensions kit. Um, uh, Everything's done on the kit. Ada, kit threads, kit metallics. Uh, the kit came with Krynik, um 032, the crystal sort of color to put in the snow. So, got to get moving on that one. That one may be a bit more of a struggle. I'm afraid if I put that one down, I just don't, won't want to pick it up. But I, there's not actually... There's messes to clean up, but there's not a whole lot of stitching really, not compared to all the big, big man himself and everything that I've already finished. So the other one I want to finish this year is Celtic Summer, my uh, tropical sunset conversion. Um, so making really good progress on the stitching, I have started to put in metallics um, as of the last couple of weeks but plenty of beads that will need attention and these medallions are still putsy as so I'm assuming all the medallions this side are going to be putsy as um still a very bit of stitching in her skirt so that she's a ways off yet but I think it's well achievable to have her finished and beaded before the end of the year then I can look at which of the other Celtic ladies I'm going to start Um, so let's see what else did I write down. So those, those are the, the three finishes are Celtic Summer, Pearl of the Orient, and Amber Stocking. Uh, six pages on Aura of Autumn, and then this is not a aiming for a finish so much. Um, well, a mini finish maybe. So the, this is... Tinctorium by Chatelaine, and this hasn't come out since Mania, so it needs to get back out again. Um, but just above these little critters is the end of part one. So my goal before uh, the end of the year will be to finish part one, including all of the specialty stitches, not the beads, I'll bead it all at the end, but everything from the top of those critters inwards, part one finished. And ideally I'd like to start on the next part as well. Um, so those are my commitments for moving forward, how much we're gonna get done. We shall see. Come January, I'll probably have totally forgotten I even filmed this and committed to anything, except for that stocking, Amber won't let me forget. So if you don't say anything in January, ask me, Anna, how'd you go with those? All right, everybody keep well. I will uh, see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.